Vietnamese people have known how to plan and make use of wax tree for a long time. It can be used for making not only boats, water containers but also many handicrafts. Based on the special usage of wax tree, artists can create unique lacquer paintings. Wax tree is planted mostly in Tam Nang district in the northern province of Pha Tho, and it has become an important element of such a traditional unique and spiritual art. Vietnamese people used lacquer to make votive items such as parallel verses in many pagodas temples. Lacquer painters traveled around the country to create Vietnamese special cultural spaces, which combined the glittering of gold and silver with the simplicity of natural lacquer. That was the cornerstone for the art of lacquer painting to develop. Lacquer paintings deliver the meaning of traditional folk of Asian people. Artist Guyan Jatri contributed the most to the early stage of Vietnamese modern lacquer painting. He left many valuable lacquer paintings which were typical for this kind of art in Vietnam. Nowadays, lacquer painting remains in some traditional craft villages such as Kat Dang in Nam Din province or Hectares Thai in Thuong Tin district, Hanoi. Those beautiful handicrafts are made by Vietnamese native farmers. Their technique is built up from generation to generation. In the past, the framework of every lacquer handicraft was made from small pieces of wood, which were merged to each other by slob and wax trees gum. When a framework is completed, its joints could hardly be recognized. Currently, lacquer handicrafts are made from many different materials such as ceramic, composite plastic or even paper. framework, an artisan has to attach color materials such as eggshell, gold, silver on it. Put on a cover layer of lacquer then polish it. The artisan has to repeat the process again and again until it becomes perfect. Each process requires skillfulness, precision and patience of artisans. Hectares Thai villages people continue doing what their forefathers did for many years in order to earn their living. By doing so, they also contribute to the preservation of national traditional culture.
artists have successfully applied the traditional material in making unique fine arts. For some artists lacquer is their most favorite material because only lacquer can provide them with unlimited creativity. The difficulty in using lacquer makes it more rewarding to conquer. In the past, lacquer was used at some basic colors such as vermilion, gold, silver and egg. Nowadays, artists can freely use it in contemporary trends. However, in order to do that, they must understand lacquer's features. Drawing multi-layered, thick coating, pumicing and painting are the traditional techniques of the lacquer art. It has distinctive values that are totally different from other materials. Oil or silk painting has different methods and techniques, but in general, they have a common feature of little variation in color. However, in lacquer painting, the process of pumicing and drawing is the most important part of the whole creative process. When grinding, an artisan cannot see the overall appearance of the work. So it requires the artist to have an ability to master the material and technique. To adjust the combination. Each lacquer layer is painted once. Not with paint but with sandpaper sheets and the sensitivity of the hands. many color layers lying on each other. Especially, grinding and drawing create a painting surface with many random factors, shimmering colors. These different factors lacquer painting have such an extremely special art language. It attracts artists by its glamour of full magical splendor. The color of lacquer has such a unique beauty that it becomes exotic. The special art of making lacquer colors is that colors are created indirectly. As for other types of painting, drawing a color to the painting would not change the color. But for the lacquer, it becomes more glimmering mysterious. No other materials except lacquer can make such a deep, magical black color. Nowhere can we find such a beautiful yellow, pristine white color as they are in lacquer. In this kind of painting, color has its own way. It opens up such a flexible and exotic virtual space. The color movement creates magical depth to the painting. It is no longer confined to the width and length of the painting but opens up its own world containing the artist's spiritual attitude. Lacquer paintings are made of natural elements such as eggshell, pearl shell, seashell, Artists use a hammer instead of a brush to paint. 
They are diligent craftsmen working meticulously and attentively with all their hearts. Therefore, the traditional values of lacquer only include the technique of using materials, but also the artistic style and the theme. Because, despite the precious material, a painting can easily become soulless without the artist's emotion and creativity. Thanks to such efforts, Artists can create lacquer paintings from the depth of their soul. More and more Vietnamese artists desire to promote the traditional technique, a national unique art. They are trying to blow fresh air into traditional folk materials to create new value. Nowadays, lacquer products are sold not only in domestic, but also on international markets in forms of handicraft items or art paintings. The acceptance of international markets is a good motivation for both Vietnamese lacquer industry and lacquer lovers. Life is a river constantly flowing. After a lot of attempts to explore different materials, people are attracted and fascinated by the simple natural material of lacquer. It is no coincidence that decades ago, Vietnamese artist Gu Yen Du Cung saw glittering beauty lying in the traditional material. Every day, there are some people quietly engaged in the art in order to satisfy their passion and preserve the Vietnamese unique art forms. 